Hello, my name is Joseph Lee. I graduated from the University of California at Berkeley in Applied Math and Physics as an undergraduate. And I got my master's degree at the University of California at Irvine in the Material Science and Engineering Department. And I also got another master's degree in the Electrical Engineering Department at the University of California. And right now, I'm doing a presentation on the derivation, derivation of millicapacitance. So before we discuss millicapacitance, I'm going to design an amplifier, negative AV, this is your VN, and this is your V out, and this is a inverting amplifier. So what is exact, let's, uh, let's make an example of that, negative AV is equals negative phi, so if Vn is equal 1 volt, V out will equal negative 5 volt. And if Vn is negative t is 2 volt, V out will be negative 10 volt. And if Vn is 3 volt, and V out will be negative 15. And it has this amplification of negative 5 as an example. So this is a uh, what an inverting amplifier does. But to derive Miller capacitance, we create a feedback loop with an impedance Z right here and connect the input of this amplifier to this output. And, uh, and since Vn has a higher voltage than V out, and we will define the input current VIN to be VN minus V out over the impedance going through this feedback loop as Z. This Z will be same as this Z. And we will have this equation. We know that V out is equals negative AVN. AV over VN right here. So we will have 1 plus A VN over Z. Now, if we're going to calculate the input impedance of this feedback connected amplifier, we will define um, Z input. But please note that v, Zn is not the same as this Z, okay? The input impedance is not the same as this Z. And the input impedance will be Vn over In. The, the actual, you can think of the Zn like this. Uh, you can think of this VN connected and this is ground right like this and this is your current input current like this you can think of this um, input impedance like this in respect to the input voltage and the input current and we already know what's VIN, the input impedance. So, it's actually ZIN over 1 plus A. And we know that this current cancels this current. And if we substitute this uh, in this feedback loop uh, impedance, if we substitute this impedance, uh, this uh, 
generalized impedance with a capacitor. And we know the impedance of this capacitor is 1 over SC, or you, or you can say Z is equals 1 over J omega C. E, uh, these two are correct, but I use a Laplacian form and substitute this uh, feedback impedance with in here we get the Miller capacitance Miller capacitance C times 1 plus A and this is how you derive Miller capacitance so this ends my presentation.